One of the things we, we really focus on here as Imperials is, is the culture. Uh, we want a family, uh, a, a team that, that treats each other like family, a team that is selfless, uh, that um, takes pride in the accomplishments of, of every member of the program, uh, a team that is accountable to themselves and to each other. Um, that's something that we talked about last season a lot uh, as far as uh, where we could improve as an organization and, and we're really going to strive to develop a culture of champions here, a culture of guys that, that work hard not just for themselves but for each other, a culture that sacrifices uh, for the benefit of the, of the unity of the team. Um, and that's something that I believe is, is a necessity in any championship team and uh, we, we're calling it uh, the culture of champions. That's uh, sort of what we're modeling ourselves after and uh, uh, I think it's what uh, any good team that, that wins a championship, uh, they have that type of mentality. They have a unity that is unbreakable. They have a bond that lasts forever. And that's the type of culture that we're trying to develop here. Part of the whole experience that uh, we try to, de try to bring forward is, is the development model that, that we as Imperials uh, um, believe in um, uh, as growth. I think uh, everyone needs to focus on their, their weaknesses if they want to grow and become uh, a stronger person uh, as well as a stronger hockey player. Um, we, we really harp on guys uh, as far as working on their weaknesses, uh, becoming stronger and more well-rounded players, uh, not to mention more well-rounded people. Um, and then uh, on the other aspect, uh, not only do they have to, to work hard to develop their skills, but they, they also need us to help them uh, uh, be exposed to the right coaches and the right teams uh, that uh, would be interested in their abilities. As a player, I was exposed to a lot of different styles uh, of the game. Uh, I got to play in Europe for, for a total of six weeks when I played for the U.S. national team. And uh, I got to see a lot of Europeans and, and how um, how they developed their game and, how, and their skill sets and, and what was important to them. And um, it was a big eye opener for me when I, when I lost in the gold medal game against Russia, um, who happened to have Evgeny Malkin on the team. And just to see uh, their style of play was so different than ours, um, and it worked uh, against us. Uh, so I gained a lot of respect for the European style of play and, and saw it work at, at a high level. Um, you can see it in the NHL. Uh, the European players are, are usually the most skilled players on the team. Um, so that's something I respect as a coach and I try to teach guys, uh, like I talked about before, about being a well-rounded player. Everybody needs to have a skill set, uh, whether it's uh, strong or weak. They got to be able to make passes and make plays at a high level. And, and part of that comes down to, to stick handling and being able to handle the puck with your head up and uh, make plays and read the play. Um, that's something I really try to encourage guys. I, I try to encourage guys to make plays, to, to feel confident, to uh, maybe take the risk uh, if it's necessary to, to accomplish a, a high level play because uh, if, if you're afraid to take the risk, you're, you're never going to really get better. And, and uh, no matter what you're doing out there, you're sacrificing everything you can uh, to become a better player. And that's the main goal of, of every player that plays for me and I think it's the main goal of the organization is to develop guys to become a better player and uh, part of that has to do with taking risks and, and having the courage and the confidence and the support behind you to do so and that's something as a coach I really try to preach to my guys that uh, you know feel free to, to do your best and, and push yourself to the next level. They all give you what you need to know to move to the next level and they all know what you need to work on to better your game as a player. Coaches were great and gave you a, every opportunity you needed to move on, all the ice time. Uh, for Palmer being a new coach and just coming in uh, from the show, it's amazing just how the drills and like he knows everything, what it takes to get up to the next level. He knows what everyone should be working on and he just, he's the one guy that everyone looks up to for all the questions on everything. And then the other two coaches there were good support. They knew what they were talking about and they were just great coaches to have. One of the things we talk about as an organization is providing players with uh, the whole experience, uh, everything that you would expect or hope to expect uh, to find at a junior A team. Um, we, we, we have an unbelievable locker room complex. 
includes a gym, uh, includes a player's lounge with free Wi-Fi, uh, includes um, a 24 stall locker room, uh, it has a trainer's room for when guys uh, need to see a trainer. Um, they, they have that access uh, to, to a, a room inside the locker room. We have a skate sharpening room, uh, equipment room, equipment storage, um, showers, everything you could ask for um, as far as a locker room complex goes. And what we're, what we're trying to do with that is, is one, provide the guys with a, um, an opportunity to, to push themselves and, and make themselves better players and also uh, a chance to, to have comfort away from home. Uh, we have the locker room doors open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, and what we want to see are guys hanging out. We want to see uh, guys feeling comfortable here and, and, and to provide them a, a home away from home, so to speak. Best junior experience I could imagine, especially at the Tier 3 level. Can't beat it. Uh, there's no other team at the Tier 3 level that has the same setup. The players here have uh, extreme privileges, you know, uh, the, the locker room complex is, is unlike any other. Uh, the ice time that they, they can access is, um, is unlike any other and, and because of that we also um, require a, a strong or, or a, a large amount of commitment to, um, to taking care of the facility. Uh, the players are responsible for, for doing their own laundry, they're responsible for keeping the locker room clean. Uh, the players are responsible for, for everyday type of uh, activities uh, around the rink and, and making sure that uh, you know, uh, they respect the facilities because um, you know, w we as coaches uh, and a staff, we sacrifice everything we can to, to make the players better and, and we expect them to do the same for us. We provided them meals after home games. We provided them good meals on the road when, uh, whenever the uh, road team wasn't uh, up to par. Uh, we tried to make sure the hotel accommodations were the best they could be. Um, one of the things we do as a team is we only put two guys to a room on the road. I think that's something that uh, a lot of teams don't do and, uh, and that's something that we, we will continue to do throughout our, our program and our organization is, is making sure that guys are comfortable, that guys are well fed, that guys are taken care of uh, away from home. One of the things you get here in, in Sugarland and uh, in the Houston area is an awesome lifestyle experience. Uh, the weather is fantastic. It's usually 70 degrees and sunny. Um, you're actually here at the prime time the, during the season is the, is the better months to be here in, in Texas. Uh, usually uh, June and July and even part of August, is, it's pretty hot. It's, uh, it's kind of unbearable at times, but when the players get here, it starts to cool down. and. Um, it's right around that comfortable temperature between 80 and 70 degrees most of the year um, and that gives the players the ability to go sit out by the pool, to go golfing all season long, to go fishing. Uh, you know, there's no, there's no opener of fishing season. It's fishing's all year round. Uh, that's something I'm really big on and I, I can show guys some spots to fish. There's some good bass fishing around here. Uh, but uh, there's also right across the street there's a, a town center where, where that was built five to ten years ago the Sugarland Town Center, it's all brand new, has fantastic restaurants, has an awesome uh, mall um, and, a whole, and a whole bunch of uh, opportunity to enjoy the life down here in Texas and it's also safe. Uh, Sugarland was voted one of the safest communities in Houston, um, one of the most family friendly communities in Houston. Uh, it's a reason why I moved out here uh, before I even took the job, I wanted to live out here um, and it's just a, it's an awesome community to be a part of. And the lifestyle is, it's so great that it can be distracting. So that's one of the things we look for in players is to have a high level of maturity where they won't, uh, they won't let the, uh, the distractions get to them and take away from their game. And, um, but we also, we, we like guys to get out and, and um, let go uh, of all the responsibilities sometimes and uh, have a mental break. And, and you can have that here. You can get that here. And it's not hard to find. And I think that's one thing that's uh, unique and special about Sugarland is that it's a, it's a beautiful place to live and it's, a, it's an awesome place to be in the, in the winter time. You can help your, your career uh, significantly by being at the top of your game and you can also hurt your career if you're, if you're not playing well at those moments. So um, that's something we really focus on as a team is, is trying to give guys uh, every edge they can have uh, to, to be successful in those environments. We've partnered with juniorhockey.com so that 
we can give kids national exposure, not just for our team, but for the players themselves, so that anything that ends up on our webpage or on the NA3HL webpage, we can, we can also uh, second that on, uh, on juniorhockey.com's webpage and, and put that out there for everyone to see. And uh, that's just something that we're working towards as far as giving kids the exposure they need to, uh, to get a chance to play college hockey.